Hello, my Zentangle friends. This is Barbara Langston, CZT, Certified Zentangle Teacher, and welcome to Not Perfect Zen. I hope you're having a wonderful day. Um, we had a morning full of rain, and now the sun is out, and it's beautiful. We really needed the rain, so I'm um, very grateful for that. Um, I want to start by mentioning that I added a post to my YouTube channel. There's like a community tab, I believe is what it looks like, and showed a picture of the next six patterns that I did for Tangle All Around, which is a challenge in the 100 days of tangling in the Tangle All Around Facebook group. Okay, this is the challenge and this is the Facebook group. Anyway, um, for a lot of these patterns, the only way to see the step out is to go to this group. So um, just my question to you is, if you've been following those, is that helpful to you? Do you still want to see that? Or do you just want to see the videos here? Which is uh, my preference. But if this is helpful to you, let me know. And I'll, I'll keep doing it. It's only for 100 days. All right, I want to show you a couple of patterns that I found recently, and I'm going to give you a look into my sketchbook and how chaotic it can be. Let's see if I can zoom in a little bit. Um, the two patterns that I found are Oye, and it's O-I-L-E, and I listened to a video with uh, Sharon Wong, and she doesn't speak English, but I can't remember where they're from, but this is how they said it, it was oile. And it's just a really pretty heart pattern that connects. And then um, the other one is Love Chain, and it's by Daniela Nielsen. She's a CZT. This one I found on Tangle Patterns, and this one I found on the Mustard Kell website. And so, you know, just playing around with it, I came up with uh, a couple of ideas because I just loved both of them so much, I wanted to share them with you. And so here you can see how they can connect. And this, I add a little bit of color. And then this one, I'm not going to use on the tile today, but this is Heart Swing by Lynn Mead. Okay, so the one I am going to do today is this one. I tangled it this morning and just really had so much fun with it, and I think you'll love it. The other pattern that's on here is called Switching, and it's by Tina Raymaker, and that one's also on Tangle Patterns. <laughs> you can see on the, this page, I'm just kind of playing with how it would look if I put four together, and then this one just kind of got out of hand. <laughs> That's why it says, nope, not doing it that way. All right, um, I think you'll have fun with this one. I am going to put this on a three and a half inch Zentangle tile. I will be using a Micron PN, which means plastic nib. Just means it's a little bit thicker point and it's stronger. I'll be using a Micron 01 for some finer lines. My graphite pencil and a blending stump also known as a tortillon. I keep this in there just by habit so that I keep the point from being pushed down because I'm heavy handed. <laughs> All right, I'm very grateful for these patterns. Um, I just go looking for heart patterns that uh, I think you might enjoy since it's February and Valentine's is coming up and I, found these two and I've just had so much fun with them. So the way I'm gonna start it is I'm gonna do heart. 
But let me show you real quick before I get started how easy it is to do oile. And we're simply going to start with a heart. Okay, I like to draw my heart on the left side first. Then it's easier for me to kind of mirror it on the other side. That's just my habit. Okay, so we just start with a heart. And then this line that started, we're just going to let it go down a little bit. But not all the way across. Now we're going to start the ribbon looking part of it comes around and now we're going to bring it I'm trying to keep it um, about the same width the whole, whole way bring it around and then go ahead and bring this one all the way down okay now we can bring this one down now on this side it's like this one is going underneath so draw in the air and then come down same thing here we come out about here now this is where they can come out and meet with another one or you could just end it there same thing on this side we come under and meet here and come around okay so that one is what we're going to put in the center and if you want to kind of draw it by pencil first, I'm not going to do the four corner dots or a border because this pattern's going to take up this whole tile. But let's go ahead and get an idea of where we want our heart. Just draw a big heart. Since it's a big part of this, I just want to make it look nice and kind of even okay that looks good and now i'm going to use my micron pn and draw over this okay Now we're going to go in the same general direction that we were going here and just come out a little bit and stop. And now we're going to make this into the ribbon, okay, like here. So now we're coming up off of that. So make it hopefully about the same width as you come around. Mine won't be perfect, and that's okay. Now we're going to take this up and around and come back down. And again, I'm trying to make these all be about the same. And now we can finish this line. Okay, it's really easy, and it doesn't matter that this side's a little bit shorter than that side. If you look at the step out on Tangle Pattern, she has one that she did in a circle, and each heart has various sizes on that ribbon, and it's still very pretty. Okay, so this one now is going to go under, and I'm going to have it curve just a slight bit this way. This one is going under. Now we're going to come to here. And I'm going to have it come up and around. So okay. And right here. I'm going to bring it to that point. And then over here, I'm going to have this one.
come down a little bit and I'm gonna have it come up, okay? Because I want it to come to a point and then, then we're gonna add that other pattern. Okay, I'm just gonna have it get thinner and come around. All right, so the second pattern is called Love Chain. And again, that one is by Daniela Nielsen. And it is also an easy pattern. And we're just gonna draw a straight line and then you're going to come down here, make a heart. I like to do my left side first, and that's easier for me to mirror it. And then we just want to leave enough room to have an aura between these. So let me show you what I mean. Come around and down about that same distance here. Okay. So then down here, we come around and put an aura on this side. Now we switch to the other side and put another aura. And I'm trying to get it to kind of meet up right there in the center. And then we would have more hearts going up. And then we embellish it on each side. Okay? It's fun and easy. So that's what we're going to do here. I'm gonna bring this line up, and I'm gonna go ahead and curve it a little bit in this direction. And then, whoop, I'm gonna start doing my heart. Okay, again, leaving enough room to put an aura in between these hearts. And just keep moving up your line. Okay. And now we're going to put an aura. I want to bring this line about halfway. Now I'm going to come to this other side and do the same thing. Switch to this side. I just thought this was such a pretty pattern. There are some other ones out there that are similar, but I like this one. Okay, we're not going to worry about that right now. So on this side, I'm going to go ahead and switch to my finer tip, my Micron 01. You could use the same pen the whole time. I just want to uh, have a little finer detail when I start putting these lines in there. So first, though, I'm going to start up here. And I'm going to put like a little fescue that kind of comes up in that direction and follows this curve a little bit. Okay. And then we're going to put a couple of little leaves. So just a simple line and then like a teardrop shape on top of that line. Another little leaf. Simply done. Okay. An easy line with a light cut, like I said, a teardrop. So over to this side where we have the aura, again, we're going to put like a little fescue in this direction, one in this direction, and then we're going to put our leaves. I just think it's so cute with the two little leaves and the two little buds up here on each heart. Okay, again, just these little 
buds or fescues, whatever you want to call them. <laughs> Since it's this pattern, I'm just going to say they're buds. And then our little leaves. These will be really pretty in color. I did do that on one of mine. I don't know what I did with it now. Okay, there it is. Uh, I added some color with my jelly roll pin. Okay, where was I? Done there. Okay, here we go again. A couple of our little buds. And her, she had them go towards the other heart and then towards this area. But this is your art. You make it the way you want to make it. Okay. So the next thing we're going to do is to put these lines in the side of the heart that doesn't have the aura. So just take your time. Put these little lines on each side. I love doing little aura lines like that. So uh, I really, really like this pattern. Okay, then on this side, again, we're putting it on the side that doesn't have these other embellishments. All right, isn't that cool? <laughs> I just love it. Okay, so now we're going to put another heart like these on this side. So we're just going to come off of that. Make your heart, and then just have it come back around. And just like these are divided, we're going to go ahead and divide this one in half. Okay? And then I'm going to put my aura on the outside. So I'm just going to come off of that, slowly come around this side and stop. And now we're going to put our little embellishments. Two little buds. And two leaves. And always moving your tile to make it comfortable for your hand. And that's part of the what they call the elegance of limits. We have a limited space here, and it's nice to uh, be able to turn this around as you need it. Okay, so now we're adding these little auras, and this one's kind of a curved line, and so I'm just going to follow it that way. I liked how that turned out on my other tile on this one. <laughs> so there we go. And the next pattern that I'm going to do was uh, one that I've done in the past. I've seen it and I had to go look it up so that I could show it to you. And it is, um, we're going to write it down, switching. Okay, so this one is switching and it's very simple. Really, it's just like a print on, come around and make your little spiral. And then in the same direction that you started, you're going to come off of that, come around and make another spiral. Okay, again, where we we're coming in this direction. We're going to come off of that. 
I came out a little bit on that, sorry about that. <laughs> Make another spiral. And we're gonna put that inside of here. Okay, so we'll be coming around like that. Okay, this is the direction we were going. Come down, add another little spiral. We start in that direction, come up, and come around, okay? And I'm gonna start down here in this corner. And again, I'm using my Micron 01. And I'm just gonna come almost straight up, make my spiral. Come off that top. And then we're just gonna keep going around like that. This is where we started. Come up, make your spiral. That one's kind of an oval, and that's okay. Going in this direction. And I'm having it touch at the top and the bottom. You could keep using your Micron PN if you wanted to in here. And I don't do perfect spirals, but I really enjoy doing this one. I had a lot of fun doing this for my meditation first thing this morning. And I was excited to share it with you. Okay, this one's gonna come around. And it would go under here and kind of come up and around. And you might see that part. Okay. This side, it would have been kind of coming this way. So let's just have it come up like this. We're coming in the same direction. Okay. This one would be going down this way. And you might see... Oops, part of that spiral. That's okay. No mistakes, right? Let's just go ahead and make a spiral here. And then coming off the end of that, make a little spiral. And then just come down like that. Okay, so now we're going to come to this side, and I'm going to go in that direction this time. So coming up, making my first spiral. You can see they're not all exactly the same and that's okay. So coming off the top and then we're just gonna keep going around like that. I'm not worried about whether or not they're evenly spaced. Remember to breathe. Relax your shoulders. Loosen the grip on your pen because sometimes I'm a little bit too hard of a grip on mine. Okay. Just keep bringing it around. Keep forgetting to look up at the camera, so I'm sorry if I happen to go off the screen. Okay. Just keep coming around. And I'm not going to fill up this tile with uh, patterns, but I'm showing you these that you can play with, and you can always add more and more whatever you would like to have on your tile. Make it your art.
What I loved about Zentangle when I started doing it again was I felt like an artist. And that's what we are. We're all artists. I hope you enjoy what you do. Okay. So there we go. The other thing that I did was I came back, and this was not part of her step out, but I came back and added just a little drama, I guess is what we usually call it when you come back and add some bold, dark spots. So wherever I had this little triangle between each of these, I'm adding little auras and filling them in. Okay. And I really liked how it made this heart stand out. And all I did was look at it and say, well, what if I did this? And it worked out. I like it. Sometimes I have some that I don't like. And that's where you see the little unhappy faces in my sketchbook. Barely have one there. Just keep going around, add little auras, and fill them in dark. See, just the difference between this side and that side. Isn't that cool? And when we add some shading, that's going to make things nice. Okay, I'm going to stop there. Now do the other side. So I'm going to keep trying to find patterns that I haven't already done. I do have a playlist for Valentine's. Oh, and the other thing I meant to say was that this would make a really pretty bookmark. And I might do that still. I encourage you to play on just scrap paper if you want to, or in your sketchbook, play with patterns. And I have learned which ones I like and which ones I don't like. And when I have fun with something like this, I really enjoy sharing it. This could go nicely on a Valentine card, especially, like say, with a little bit of color on it. Okay, we don't have much space down here, so just a little tiny hint of triangles at the end. All right, what do you think? <laughs> you could come around like this and make another little line of these hearts, uh, anything that you would like to do would be perfect. I am going to finish this up here at the top with a couple more of these. Okay, and now let's do some shading. So with my graphite pencil, 
I think I'm going to start in the center here. And the way I did this one was I added kind of heavy shading right against the outline of the heart. Okay, I didn't put it on this side except to show that this one was going under it. Okay, so let me show you that. I'm going to have my pencil almost flat. And I want to touch that line. I don't want to leave a space in between the line that I'm shading because your eye will see it. It will be very noticeable. For instance, if I came down kind of like that, you would see that open space. And I'm going to continue across that ribbon because it's going under. Okay, I'm going to turn and come back the other way. Again, making sure that I don't leave a space in between. Okay, now to get my blending start. And I'm just gonna get right on that line. And I'm doing kind of little circles, just very softly at the edge of this, okay? And I just wanna very softly pull that down, okay? Not worried too much across there. Bringing it back down here. Very gently turning little circles and softening it so you don't have a harsh edge. Okay. Just keep coming around. All right. So you can come in here and adjust this a little bit, just very softly keep bringing it. And it can almost look like a little gemstone there in the center. Okay, now we're gonna add a little bit of graphite across here because this ribbon's going under that one. Soften it. Same thing on this side and on this side. And then soften those. I'm not going to do anything to this ribbon just because uh, we've already added that little bit of drama and I just don't want to add anything else. I want the emphasis to be kind of on the heart that's there in the center. Okay, the next thing I want to do is add just a little bit of shading here, but I don't want it to be harsh lines. So let me show you what I'm going to do. I'm going to put graphite down here on this piece of paper, and then I'm just going to pick some up with my blending stump and put it on my heart like this so I have a very soft shadow. Okay, so a pencil can leave kind of a harsh line and I don't want to do that. I just want a little bit of shading. And I still have enough graphite on this blending stump that I haven't had to go back over here much. Pull it around and we're leaving a little highlighted area. And I'm not going to add anything well, I'm not sure that that would look good. You could try it. Let's go ahead and try it. Since I did it, we can see the difference between whether or not we put shading where we have those lines. So, yeah, that's fine. Okay, now I'm going to do 
the same thing here. Again, just softly add some shading. And we'll come around and do it on this side also, since we did it that way on these. All right, there you go. We duplicated this one. <laughs> this one's a little bit smaller, but that's okay. And add your chop. And I'm going to come down here a little bit. There's my L. B. B and my dots for my initials. On the back, I encourage you again to put the names of the patterns. And I'll have them listed, of course, in the beginning of all of my videos. I show that. Take a look at your tile. Appreciate it. Sign, like I said, sign and date it and put the initials or the pattern names, I'm sorry, on the back. And uh, before I forget, I want to ask you to just in your heart say a prayer for a friend that I have met on this channel. Her name is Rose and she is starting chemotherapy for breast cancer on Monday, and I'm very glad that she reached out to me. Um, it's a very high anxiety thing to start this, and uh, I'm thinking about her daily, hoping that she does well, and that this is very successful treatment for her. Anyway, thanks again for joining me. Here's our first <laughs> tile and the second one. Uh, if you enjoyed this, please hit the like button, subscribe, comment, and share because that really helps my channel. All right, thanks again. Look forward to uh, the next thing that I find to show you. Thank you. Bye. <laughs>